Hi, Pop-Tarts, back for the Quarantine Read Aloud series, the chapter book edition. Today, we are going to be starting a new book. It is by Barbara Park, and it's Judy B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. So today, I'm going to start with chapters one and two because they're kind of short, and I'll be trying to show you pictures as we go along. I hope you enjoy. Chapter one, Meeting Misses. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. I'm almost six years old. Almost six is when you get to go to kindergarten. Kindergarten is where you go to meet new friends and not watch TV. My kindergarten is in the afternoon kind. Today was my first day of school. I'd been to my room before, though last week, mother took me there to meet my new teacher. It was called Meet the Teacher Day. My teacher was decorating the bulletin board with the letters of the alphabet. I already know all these, those letters, I said. I can sing them, except I don't feel like it right now. My teacher shook my hand. Only our hands didn't fit together that good. Her name was Mrs. I can't remember the rest of it. Mrs. and I looked cute. I know it, I said. That's because I have on my new shoes. I held my foot high, way in the air. See how shiny they are? Before I put them on, I licked them. And guess what else, I said. This is the best, bestest hat. Grandpa Miller bought it for me. See the devil horns sticking out the sides? Mrs. laughed, except I don't know why. Devil horns are supposed to be scary. When, then we walked around the room, and she showed me where my stuff was, like the easels where we would get to paint, and the shelves where the books are, and the tables where we sit and don't watch TV. One of the tables in the front of the room had a red chair. I would like to sit here, I think, I told her. But Mrs. said, we'll have to wait and see, Junie. B, I said. Call me Junie B. I hollered the B part real loud so she wouldn't forget it. People are always forgetting my B. Mother rolled her eyes and looked at the ceiling. I looked up there too, but I didn't see anything. Are you going to ride the bus, Junie B? Mrs. asked me. I made my shoulders go up and down. I don't know. Where's it going to? My mother nodded her head and said, yes, she'll be riding the bus. Yeah. The, that made me feel scary inside, because I never ride it on a bus before. Yeah, only where's it going to, I asked again. Mrs. sat on her desk. Then she and my mother talked more about the bus. I tapped on Mrs. Guess what? I still don't know where it's going to. Mrs. smiled and said the bus driver's name was Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu, said Mother, that's an easy name for Junie B to remember. I covered my ears and stamped my foot. Yeah, only where's the stupid smelly bus going to? Mother and Mrs. frowned. Frowning is when your eyebrows look grumpy. Watch yourself, Missy, said Mother. Missy's my name when I'm in trouble. I looked down at my shoes. They didn't look as shiny as they did before. Just then, another mother and a boy came in and Mrs. went off to talk to them instead of me. I don't know why, though. The boy was hiding behind his mother and acting very babyish. I can't beat that boy up, I think. I can beat that boy up, I think. After that, my mother sat me down and explained about the bus. She said it's yellow, and it's called a school bus, and it stops at the end of my street. Then I get on it and sit down, and it takes me to school. And then your teacher will meet you in the parking lot, said Mother. Okay, Junie B, won't that be fun? I nodded the word yes, but inside my head said the word no. Chapter 2. Feeling Queasy. I stayed scared about the bus for a whole week, and last night, when my mother tucked me into bed, I still felt sickish about it. Guess what, I said. I don't think I want to ride that bus to kindergarten tomorrow. Then my mother rumpled my hair. Oh, sure you do, she said. Oh, sure I don't. I said back. Then mother kissed me and said, it'll be fun. You'll see. Just don't worry. I did though. I worried very much and I didn't sleep so good either. And this morning I felt very droopy when I got up and my stomach was queasy and I couldn't eat my cereal. 
and so I watched TV until Mother said it was time to go get ready to go. Then I put on my skirt that looks like velvet and my new fuzzy pink sweater, and I ate half a tuna sandwich for lunch. After that, Mother and I walked to the corner to wait for the bus. And guess what? There was another mother and a little girl there too. The little girl had curly black hair, which is my favorite kind of head. I didn't say hello to her though, cause she was from a different street, that's why. Then finally, this big yellow bus came around the corner and the brake screeched very loud and I had to cover my ears. Then the door opened and the bus driver said, hi, I'm Mr. Wu, hop on. Except I didn't hop on because my legs didn't want to. I don't think I want to ride this bus to kindergarten, I told Mother again. Then she gave me a little push. Go on, Junie B, she said. Mr. Wu is waiting for you. Be a good girl and get on. I looked up at the windows. The little girl with the curly black hair was already in the bus. She looked very big sitting up there and kind of happy. Look how big that little girl is acting, Junie B, said Mother. Why don't you sit right next to her? It'll be fun, I promise. And so I got on the bus, and guess what? It wasn't fun. And we'll pick up next time with Chapter 3. Have a great day.